New tonight in the Michael Flynn saga. A grand jury reportedly called to hear evidence about the former national security advisors lobbying work for the Turkish government. That's according to the New York Times. Saul Weisenberg was a deputy independent counsel during the Whitewater probe and knows how these special counsel investigations work. Good to have you with us Thanks. tonight. Thanks for having me. Okay, so what do you make of this new report that potentially there is this grand jury offshoot now looking into that particular issue with Flynn? Well, you know, there's this large blacked out portion of the Mueller sentencing memo, and one of the items blacked out is, is pretty clearly a new separate investigation. And the New York Times suggests that it may be an investigation not so much into just Flynn in Turkey, but into lobbying efforts by the Turkish government that were in violation of the Foreign Agents Registration Act. So I think it's, it's plausible uh, that that could be the mystery investigation. So how does this work then with Flynn? If they work out this, uh, we have the sentencing memo, the recommendation from the special counsel's team. The sentencing is set for December 18th. Once that is all put into place, does Flynn stop cooperating? Is he still at their disposal? How does it work beyond December 18th for the oh, special no, he's counsel? He's still completely uh, at their disposal and he must cooperate, but what the special counsel told the court is, look, there's no reason to delay the sentencing. He's done enough cooperating already to be entitled to a downward variance for substantial assistance. And keep in mind, substantial assistance is a term of art under the sentencing guidelines. He already had a very low guideline range mm -hmm. of zero to six months, and he would have had that range uh, under this statute that he pled to, whether or not he cooperated with, with Bob Mueller. So he was never going to go to prison for very long. Decades, yeah, because there are those who are saying, look, it means no jail, jail time recommended for him. It means he must have given them everything. In fact, um, an Esquire, Charles P. Pierce, writes this. His headline is, Michael Flynn has been singing the full score of a German opera. He says this, one of the few things that Mueller is doing out in the open is shrewdly to immortalize his findings against the very real possibility of White House sabotage. He knows how to lay landmines and not leave fingerprints. They're calling it basically a victory dance for Mueller and saying that Flynn must have given them so much material um, as to avoid any jail time, but you're saying that could have been a sentence anyway. It's, it's, a, it's preposterous. Look, Flynn cooperated. They obviously believe he's been genuine about it. They're giving him substantial assistance, which, which must mean that he earned it in Mueller's eyes, but there's no indication from that that the information that Flynn gave is, for example, is going to Im implicate Donald Trump Jr. Uh, or that it's going to show that there was actual criminal collusion between members of the Trump inner circle and the Russian government. It, it might. We're in the realm of speculation here. Mm -hmm. But to make that kind of a statement is, is uh, not collusional. It's delusional. Okay. Well, here is what Senator Lindsey Graham, who happens to be a member of the Senate Judiciary Committee, they've had a part in these investigations. Here's what he says about what we do know so far. If there was collusion between the campaign and some form of Russia, it'd be hard for me to believe that Flynn didn't know about it. So the fact he's not being charged with anything related to collusion tells me that I don't think there's anything there. Is that your impression? Well, he makes a good point that typically what a prosecutor wants to do is if somebody is pleading uh, who participated in the most serious crime, that's the crime that you want to charge. If you're trying to prove, for example, if you believe that the president's inner circle criminally colluded with the Russian government, and you have somebody that you've caught doing that, you would want to make him plead to that. You may let him plead to a conspiracy charge, which has a five-year cap, statutory cap, and that aids this person in sentencing, but you don't have them plead to lying to the government. So that's the basis of Graham's analysis, and I think it's pretty sound. Well, we'll all have to wait and see. In the meantime, Saul Weisenberg, thank you for stopping in. Good My to have pleasure. you with us.